Throughout the day of Defense Secretary Gilberto Gibot Teodoro Jr.'s visit, he reiterated the need to expedite the establishment of Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement or EDCA sites in the country. Earlier today, August 15, he once again emphasized to the media the importance of placing EDCA sites in various parts of the country. These uh, Philippine bases with EDCA facilities are for us purely for our internal uh, credible deterrent no? uh, posture. And not only here, we have to develop Philippine bases throughout the perimeters of the archipelago in order to secure our territory, not only now, but for the future. This is also the reason why the Secretary is currently conducting inspections of the ongoing construction at each facility within the EDCA sites. Although Secretary Teodoro mentioned that the construction of EDCA sites is unrelated to the ongoing bullying by the Chinese Coast Guard of the Philippines maritime vessels in the West Philippine Sea, he stated that it could still help prevent a recurrence of what happened in the WPS. Walang relation to eh. Ito, total Philippine defense ng ating 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone. Para maiwasan natin ang nangyayari sa West Philippine Sea ngayon, sa sino man gustong mag-threaten ng ating sovereign rights dito. Leksyon yan eh, sa, sa, sa atin. Yung nangyayari sa West Philippine Sea, huwag natin i-replicate dito. Huwag natin uh, payagan na mangyari dito. During this visit, to Camp Melchor de la Cruz, the primary focus was on the Command and Control Fusion Center, Logistic Warehouse, and the upcoming training site. Following this, the Secretary of National Defense then proceeded to Port Magsaysay Military Reservation in Nueva Ecija, where he inspected the Humanitarian and Assistance Disaster Relief Facility. Alan Manansala, QNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.